Freedom for Animals began investigating Cumbria Safari Zoo, formerly known as South Lake Zoo, in 2015, after 486 animals died there in just three years. The attraction became known as the UK's worst zoo in the media. In 2017, Westmoreland and Furness Council refused to renew the zoo's license, but then granted a license to a new zoo boss. Shockingly, this individual was part of the previous management team overseeing the zoo where animals were living and dying in miserable conditions. Freedom for animals and members of the public have continued to shed light on the grim reality for the animals there. In 2023, we deployed an undercover investigator to enter the zoo as a volunteer to gather evidence and uncover what really happens within its walls. This is the first of a series of videos documenting what we found at Cumbria Safari Zoo. This emaciated meerkat was seen struggling to find food in their littered enclosure. Although their poor body condition could be explained by old age, the fact there is no food easily available and no warm shelter in which to hide is devastating. The only heat lamp was over this hard stone, exposed to visitors' prying eyes, where they tried to curl up and rest. They also appeared to be suffering an injury to the end of their tail. Insufficient heating has been a welfare issue raised by the council during numerous inspections, yet it is a problem that still has not been rectified, leaving animals to huddle under single heat lamps or together for warmth in drafty and cold enclosures. Many injuries were reported during our investigations, including a spider monkey with an injured arm and a baby lemur with a broken arm being kept in the vet room seen here. Perry's baby's broken her arm. It's either let it heal, it's not going to heal uh, perfect, but let it heal or operate on it, but then that obviously affects the growth or the said uh, amputate. Overcrowding issues sadly appear in other areas, including the Africa House, where rhinos are still seemingly kept from each other in separate pens. This is an ongoing issue that has been raised by the council as a welfare concern during numerous inspections through 2022 and 2023. Yet, as our investigator witnessed on a visit at the beginning of 2024, it is still very much a problem that continues to this day regardless of the fact two rhinos have supposedly been moved to a separate location owned by Cumbria Zoo Limited. During a concerning feeding event in 2024, a single giraffe was witnessed being fed over 300 pieces of carrot by well over 100 visitors over 45 minutes. Carrots are not a natural food for giraffes and are extremely high in sugar, making them incredibly hard for a giraffe to digest. A later feeding event also took place three hours later in the afternoon, with the same giraffe seemingly used. Government guidelines state that controlled feeding by members of the public must only occur on a selective basis, and that the quantity and type of food supplied must be managed and recorded to avoid overfeeding or unbalanced nutrition. The zoo holds these feeding events daily. The giraffe was seen neck-twisting, an unnatural twisting and rolling of the neck that can be a sign of stress or frustration. Join us in calling on Westmoreland and Furness Council to listen to our demands to close down this zoo and rehome the animals to appropriate sanctuaries. Please share this video, sign our petition, and support local demonstrations and outreach events.